right now I got the computer plugged into the um, battery bank. Uh, that inverter is running this computer. The monitor is plugged into the wall because the monitor draws too much power. The batteries go down too fast. The monitor just, just on the initial startup is like 250 watts of a draw on the battery bank. I've been wanting to um, get a bench grinder and a, get a, a good vise and uh, a Dremel drill or Dremel tool and get a drill press and notch out through holes on the copper bars for the um, wire end connectors to be screwed onto so as to charge the batteries from the bus bar. The bus bar is threaded through the um, posts. All I did was use a, um, a tapered reamer and I reamed out the holes they were about oh, three sixteenths. Oh, I reamed them out. Oh, actually that bar is, I'm sorry, the bar is a quarter inch diameter, so it's somewhat a little less than a quarter inch diameter, so I bought the bar that was a next size up, and then I bought a reamer, a tool, looks like a T. You hold it in your hand, you twist it back and forth in the um, battery post, and it actually it makes the size of the hole bigger. It removes the lead. You just twist it around, and it removes the lead so that the so that the, the copper bar can thread through the posts and the battery terminals. I know a lot of you think stranded wire is better than a bus bar, but that bus bar I bought it at I bought it through um, Mastercar or McMaster. And it was rated for the um, highest electrical conductivity of the copper uh, rounds. If you go to Ma if you go to McMaster, you can order <coughs> materials there for projects and stuff. I like to do this. Usually when I'm waiting for my computer to do something, I'll just pick these up, lift them. Well, anyhow, have a nice day.